Hi, this is Mark from the ATV guys, and this week we get to try the new Honda Talon. Uh, I'm joined this week by a seasoned veteran rider, veteran driver, Terry Minigaz. Mm -hmm. So, Terry, we, we had the chance to have this thing Absolutely. at the end of the season. Uh -huh. The Canuck tryouts uh, of this uh, simply awesome machine. Awesome machine, awesome machine. No, well, the, it's actually the... Uh, when we, we talked about it many times, I mean, the, even the first look was different. I mean, the, 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 the way they did the styling, the outside and all this, you can tell that Honda has put a lot of energy in, in making it a, a personal machine. Uh, you were saying that it looks like one of the older models or, or one of the... It, it, it's, it has styling cue from the Pioneer 1000 okay. LE, which is more square, but you, you can see the family in it. it, it it's the rowdy little brother right right the right. pioneer 1000 uh, uh. engine wise they took some cues from the pioneer le and uh some of the motorcycle some products of the motorcycles because this thing mm. has a dual clutch transmission just like in automotive applications and honda motorcycles who've been uh, using this type of transmission for like over 10 years no, okay. it's got nothing to do with anything that i've ever driven anyways it is so smooth I mean, selecting park to drive to reverse. I mean, it, it flows like the gearbox. the gearbox is just like it's a two finger thing, two finger thing. And you don't hear any clink or clank or anything like that. It, it when you're when you're taking off, there's no you don't feel any backlash in anything. I mean, you don't feel anything. It just thing just takes off nice and smoothly and it shifts. We, we there's what three different modes for the shifting. Yeah, you've got manual, you've got automatic. automatic. And you've got the um, uh, sport? automatic sport. Automatic sport, yeah, yeah. The automatic sport is simply it's going to make it uh, change gears a few at a higher RPM. Higher RPM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. And uh, you're here. You're here. The gear get in. A click. And there's a nice little, nice, uh, strong yeah, it's, and, and. It's like a, tra a, a motorcycle. Absolutely, snick, absolutely. Not click clack. It's snick snick snick. Yeah, yeah. It shifts very well. Uh, I like also in sport mode that it's going to downshift more aggressively. At absolutely, the same time, so, absolutely. Uh, it's. Makes you feel a little bit like uh, all the CVTs that, that are out there, which you, you got engine braking yeah, on there. Yeah, yeah. But in, in a Oh, much... that one's a lot more positive as far as engine braking, because yeah. with the CVT, there is engine braking, but it's not very efficient, put it it's, that way. It's, it's either all in or all, all, all out. All in or all out, this absolutely. This is like, uh, 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 and it's, it just, and it keeps the machine planted at yeah, all yeah, yeah, times, yeah, yeah. because the suspension and handling in this thing is not super sport. No, like no. you, you have an X3, right? Yeah, yeah. The Can yeah. X3. Uh, I have a YXZ 1000R, and these are peaky machines. You Absolutely. Know? No, no. Speed Demon. The other one's more. Uh, you know, it likes to be rowdy a little bit more. This is right smack in the middle. Absolutely, absolutely. But it, it does have that twin personality. I mean, if you drive it just along, if you just drive it along the trail as a nice, easy mode, it's great. It shifts well and does everything well. And if you start pressing it and you're being a bit more aggressive, it's uh, it's got a different personality right there. I mean, it, it comes up and the, the, everything follows. The engine has got that little, nice little torque. It'll go right up the revs and it'll shift right on there. And it's, uh, no, it's, it's, the, the, the thing is like bipolar. I mean, it's either, it's either, <laughs> it's either or, no, it's either or. <laughs> There's no metal in this thing. No, it's no. It's nice and easy, or, but it, re it rewards you. Uh, you can actually go fast with this thing, but if you're smooth, it's going to reward you. Because it's really precise, the steering, the, the power steering is well, is well uh, uh, scaled. So it's, uh, it, it makes the, the car, the, the, the handling very predictable. I mean, and, and if, if you go around obstacles or whatnot, it's, it's very to steer. And uh, even if you push it a little harder and you start, you know, oversteering and whatnot, it, 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 you counter steer and it comes right back in. It's, uh, it's really uh, it's, well behaved, well behaved. You know, it's such a curveball because it took five years to, to get this thing the way it is now. And, you know, I had expectations. I was like, mm. oh, yeah, it's going to be something like, like a Pioneer 1000 with a little bit more sport, a little bit more suspension, mm -hmm. suspension mm -hmm. travel. Mm -hmm. Uh, it couldn't be as far as the truth from no, that. No, no. It's, it's like it's it's like they took notes from all the co competitors. They waited <laughs> five years and they cured all the problems and they've got it in that machine. Uh, whether it be like suspension, like you're you're saying, uh, whether the, the, just the front differential. I mean, the, the way they, they they do the 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 front differential. I mean, it's 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 basically has an ABS system that locks up yeah, the that wheel that's spinning. I4WD thing. The I4WD thing. The I4WD, and that works out really, it's, it's smooth. It, it's, the transition is always very smooth and you don't hear anything going clink or clank or whatnot. Yeah, you, and don't, you don't hear gear whine. Absolutely. Not from transmission, not no, from the no, differential. No, no, no. And you know, when you're going at a sedate pace, 
you can actually have a conversation inside in the, the car. It's great, screaming. absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And there are no vibrations on the interior. Everything nope. is fast and well. The fit and finish is just automotive. Uh, uh, you know, it's just great at that point. This thing's a car for off-road. Basically. Like, Honda knows how to make cars. <laughs> yeah, you know? they, they certainly do. They make cars, they make great motorcycles. But the, all the ensemble of this thing, and, and if we're talking about creature comforts from the inside, these are probably the best seats I've ever sampled in a UTV bar none mm, mm, mm. and you got lumbar support which i never really felt in a utv before it's all it's it's a package and you have to sample this if you have a honda dealer close to your house and they Go try it. Go let try you it. ride mm, one mm, mm, mm. you're gonna understand why they're charging this insane price <laughs> of twenty eight thousand two hundred dollars for a non-turbo machine you're going to understand when you ride it. Yeah, yeah. No, because the quality is in there and uh, and everything, everything, all the ergonomics. I mean, whether you're a passenger or a driver, everything falls into your hand really easily. Yeah, that, that grab handle. The, the grab handle is adjustable grab handle. Why that works did out. Nobody ever think about that. Now, well, I have some with notches and stuff. Yeah, yeah. You can unlock and place it. Exactly you can actually where you adjust want. it really just. And it goes far enough yeah, for yeah. your kid. Absolutely. to hang on to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of them don't go as far. And if you have a, let's say, seven or eight year old, they're going to be like this all day. Right, and right. with this, they're going to, you know, it, it's little details like exactly. that that make the Honda Talon so freaking good. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And, and if we go a little further, like in the engine compartment, it's easy to change the air filter in this thing. It's a real joke. I mean, and to change spark plugs, everything is... You, you, you know about this, huh? Air filters, <laughs> your X3, yeah, it's, it's my YXZ. My YXZ is a one hour affair to change the freaking filter on that thing. Yours is like. Well, no, well, half an it'll hour. go 15, 20 minutes at least if you're going to do it right. It's this, you, you raise the panel, flick, flick, click, click. It's, it's there, right there, it's right there. Thank you very much. Wham, bam, thank you, man. Absolutely. All change, same, same thing. thing. Yeah, Everything's, yeah. You don't have to tear the machine apart to change to do maintenance. To do the maintenance, exactly, exactly. And one nice thing this thing comes with 15 inch rims. 15 inch rims, that's right. Shot on Maxis, but. Maxxis specially designed tires for this vehicle. Uh, does it make a difference, you think, being on 15 inch? 14, 15 inch? I, I, I tend to, to think it does. Uh, I, I, uh, maybe because I'm from the rally scene and we use 15 inch wheels all the time because that's the rule. Uh, but uh, it, I don't know, it, it gives another feeling to the vehicle to, to have the, those, those long, those wider wheels. I mean, not wider, but bigger wheels. Maybe uh, you get less, less, less wall. That's because it, it's still running on 29. That's right. That's right. So there's a pretty big meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? So if, if if it gives it less wall, then it gives it more precise steering. I mean, one goes with with the other. Yeah. Uh, and this the compound on this thing is like oh, it's like gubba gubba gum. You, you, you mind yeah. zooming in on this? Check this out. It's really soft. This is extremely, extremely soft compound. Nice for this type of weather. But on hard pack, it's gonna, these tires are going to burn. They're going to burn right up. They're going to burn right up. <laughs> you know, and, and it comes like this. So you got the roof right off the bat. Right, right. Yeah. And Honda did something. They had a slew of accessories ready for shipment way right. before the machine came to dealers. Right, so right, right. you can get the whole. And I like original accessories, especially like windshields and stuff like that, because they fit nice. <laughs> exactly. There's good stuff in the aftermarket. Mm -mm. But it's always nice to pick up a few things, because sometimes you can add them to the finance and you know, right, a few right. thousand you, dollars of accessories. What it ab absolutely needs, get a winch, because this is a heavy th It's heavy, so if you ever get it stuck, you need a winch in these things. So get yourself the optional bumper. This one can have the in install the winch right off the bat. but. Uh, it's also sitting on, uh, suspension-wise, we didn't talk that much, it's a uh, Fox QS3. Right, with three settings, really simple stuff to do. Soft, medium, hard. There One, you two, go, three. absolutely. Uh, it's a little, we thought it was oversprung in the back, but uh, <laughs> it, there's there's too much preload, so yeah, we have yeah. to try it again with, uh, with less preload on it, because it's a little bit bouncy in the back. But the rest, it's point, shoot, drop the gas, absolutely. and go. Absolutely. It's just an awesome yeah, machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty-eight thousand no. two hundred dollars. That's and, the MSRP. And I was just thinking. I mean, the way it's built, it's going to keep its value too. So eventually, if you want to resell it or buy another one or whatever, it's uh, it's going to keep its value. I'm just sure. Just look at a five-year-old Rubicon. How much you're asking that <laughs> for that on the used market? Yeah. So this is going to keep its value, uh, and the way it's built and the the paint, you know, the finish. Yeah, the finish. It's it's, it's, it's automotive quality. It's, 
it's a car for off road. Mm -mm. You, you got to try one. You got to try one. Me, I. This is the first first time in six years I've been doing this that I'm gonna give a perfect score for a UTV. Mm. 4.995 just not to be perfect <laughs> the, there's there's not many things i wish we could oh have... there's one thing that we didn't oh. like the what? dash oh yeah so that no perfect score you can't no, see, see... <laughs> you can't see anything in the dash in daytime anything. probably it's probably insane. in nighttime with the with the retro lighting and you, you might be able to see something but during the daytime you cannot see anything. You can't see what speed you're at. You don't know whether you're in manual or automatic yeah, mode or how much gas there's left or if the, the engine is overheating or whatnot. And why why is it placed there? Well, because uh, you're sitting like this and you got to look and try to... Try to read it. And no, no, that's... That, that's Yeah, that's, if there's one thing I hate about this... It's, it, that's, unit, that's what it is. Is the instrument panel. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Caca. No, it's not, it's, not, it's not right. We had to find something. Well, the well. But it's it's really nice. So other listen, than other than that, other than that, it's near perfect score. Absolutely. Uh, if you like what you've seen here, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and join us on Facebook and Instagram. I'm Mark. He's Terry, and we're the ATV guys.